Hey YouTube, how's it going today? So let's see, what do we got? It is uh, the 12th of December now. We're on part uh, nine, nine, I think, of hunting those buffaloes, doing that magic, right? Uh, thanks for all the comments on the last video. Yeah, the uh, 14 Denver, that's a nice one. So if anybody needs that one for their collection or whatever, please let me know. We can work something out, I'm sure um to get it to you so i guess we'll get started here so i got uh let's see here got a coin under the scope ready to go i'm working on getting a so for my chair i know i i, I don't know if i talked to anybody about this about my chair or not but i'd put this new cylinder on my chair i think i mentioned this yesterday and man, it just jacked the chair way up there and stuff. So I had to take it off of there and I put the old one back on and I don't know. I'm going to, I need to just get a new dang chair. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be saving for that because I just need something better. I spend a lot of time at my desk doing these things, these, uh, um, videos for you guys. And then also the, uh, whatnot stuff and ebay stuff and whatever so plus all the researching and all that good stuff so i just need a better chair all right we got a 17 that date came out real nice uh no mint mark yep again i was gonna, these ones are probably not gonna have the mint mark just because uh these are in the bag that says no mint marks so let me uh, open up the book here again. Eight dollar coin, uh, fifty-one million of those. It's funny my book opens, even though it's spiral bound, it opens to the exact pages that I need every time. Now, hmm. <laughs> Oof. Ooh. Ooh. I guess we'll see. We'll see if we can even get anything off this. I don't know. Let's find out, huh? I don't know. Uh, so I spent this morning, I, it's 3.30 in the morning for me right now, so I spent the last two hours of this morning um, just going through uh, a bunch of coins that I had got in. Uh, I didn't do a mail call yesterday, even though I got a ton of mail in. Um... Just because I ran a show right away, so... Uh, well, looks like we might have something coming through. But, yeah, I was just going through and flipping up a bunch of stuff. and I got these silver rounds in that are really neat. They're one-ounce silver rounds, but they're uh, baseball-themed ones. One's Derek Jeter. Uh, that's 1996 World Series. And the other one is 1987 uh, Wade Boggs. Uh, AL uh, American League batting champion and uh, I know I saw one of the Jeter ones somewhere had sold I think that's a 16 one of the Jeter ones had sold somewhere for like I believe it was like 125 and I was offering it for 85 yesterday in my stream in my whatnot stream but now I'm thinking about it and that was a long time ago that that sold for 125 like a long time ago I'm starting to think it's worth a lot more and then the Wade Boggs the only reference that I could find to it is on worth point and I don't have a worth point account so I don't know I'm gonna probably have to just get a worth point account which basically will look up uh, like it's you'll be able to I'll be able to find like realized auction prices. Yeah, that's a sixteen. Realized aux auction prices. So, um, except it's kind of spendy. I mean, it's like thirty bucks a month, which is, you know, you don't you think about that. I mean, that's that's a lot, really. Especially if you're not going to use it that often. So, I don't know. They have a 7-day free trial. So, I figure I'll get that. I'll use the 7-day free trial. And then I'll probably just cancel it. I'll look up a bunch of stuff real quick. That I've been wanting to look up anyway. That is more 
uncommon. I have some stuff that's laying around that's not as common everyday type items, so I might as well take that time to look them up. There you go, 1919. No, I still got a uh, cold. Sorry for the sniffle there. Just after we started the recording, I had to pause it and, and sneeze. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. That is just still to this day. I'm just, even though we're getting in there, you know, nine, ten episodes, whatever it is, I still am just always amazed. Just seeing that date just pop through like that suddenly just amazes me, you know? Yeah. So yeah, I was just thinking, yeah, if I don't, uh, if I can't sell these nickels, I'm just going to end up taking them to the bank and they'll give me a nickel apiece for them and then I'll, uh, and then they'll be destroyed because the older currency like this does get destroyed basically. So sent off to the, uh, mint and they destroy it and, you know, so there's a 14 Philly. I think that, isn't that a better one? Uh, 20 million, yeah. 20 bucks. I don't see the three, so it's not a 14 over 13. So, yeah. So anyway, if people want to purchase these, um, you know, I'd like to sell them for a little bit more. I mean, I was offering up a, a two-pound bag of them for 20 bucks I thought that was a pretty good price most of the uh, coins in there would be uh, one to like $20 values I don't think we're going to get a date on this one. It seems that somebody was scratching at that date area. So, yeah, if somebody's interested, you know, I mean, two pounds, that's, uh, it's over 200. It's over two pounds, It's and it's probably over 200 nickels. So, but I mean, I just can't have them just sitting around here all the time. They're taking up a ton of room. I got three or four piles of them right now, you know, because I was separating them out what's with what's what and well, who's who and where's where and that's a 23. Where's Waldo and all that other stuff, right? Where in the world is common San Diego? Did I just date myself? Used to love that show. Where in the world is common San Diego? Seventeen. Again, this is, you know, like eight-ish dollar coin here. And I'm just throwing this towards that bag, too. I mean, like I say, it, it, it'll it weigh about two pounds, maybe a little more. Not less, I can tell you that much. Maybe a little more than two. But, you know, the more and more I put into it, the more and more I kind of want to get for it, too, right? I mean, if we hit 
three pounds, well then, you know, I'm looking at about $10 a pound is what I'm thinking. For the more common dates. And I mean, honestly, you could probably take them and sell them for a buck a piece on, you know, like eBay or something like that and make tons of money. I just don't have time to sit and list every single one of them, but, you know, maybe some of you out there do and you want to do that. I don't, I just don't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't sit there and do it because um, I got things to do. It's a 15. You know, I mean, I got, well, I got to find a job. That's what I got to do. That's what's keeping me up at night. So I was applying like crazy today, or this morning already at, I think I did five or six more job applications online. You wouldn't think it would be this difficult to get a job in my field of um, IT, but information systems administration is my degree and my minor is in information technology forensics. So... You know, wouldn't think it'd be that difficult, but apparently it is. I don't know, John Deere is hiring in my area, so I guess I wasn't going to take the job because I know that it's going to be long hours and I won't have quite as much time to do stuff on the... Uh, whatnot app and on you know youtube i mean i'll make sure that i still get content up obviously but um at this point i don't really have much of a choice oof to that 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 nickel's seen better days that nickel has seen better days i bet this was a dug one one that somebody uh, metal detectors dug up they usually look like this So you got all your Christmas shopping done yet? I know I asked this before. I mean, if you're from a different country and you celebrate Hanukkah or something like that, well, you know, happy Hanukkah. I happen to be in America and I celebrate, well, I guess you could be an American and celebrate Hanukkah too, right? But I happen to celebrate Christmas. Um... I don't have all my stuff done. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> oh, well, I shouldn't say that. The the grandsons are done. The uh one nephew's done. The other nephew nephew and niece, I got it still <clears throat> get theirs. So I suppose I'll have to have another show or two to make some more money on whatnot. Yay. I don't know. I was thinking about having one today, but like my big show, normally speaking, is on Wednesdays. That's the one where people know me from and stuff. We call it Wee Penny Wednesday. Um, I mean, it, ha it hasn't been like 
insanely good lately. But, uh, I don't know. I still like to do them because that's kind of my staple. That's my, that was what, basically where I started. Um, almost, almost a hundred episodes ago or a hundred shows ago. I know I'm getting close. I thought I was already close, but I, I think I counted wrong because I looked and I was only at like 80 some shows. So I think I'm, but I, I think now I am actually getting close to that hundredth show. So, I mean, that'll be good. And then I can retire, right? I mean, I have been running a show, I think, almost every day now. I don't even know if I've taken a day off from running a show re recently. I don't even, I can't remember, but I don't think so. Well, anyway, I figured um, I'll probably show you guys the uh, silver rounds here, the ones that I was talking about earlier. Let you take a look at them. That's a 13 Denver Type 2. So, yeah, like a $12 coin right there. That'll go into the bag. I'm mean, at this point. I'm only looking for ones that are really high end, expensive, really, because I've got lots of these 15, 16, 17, 14s, 13s, all set aside already. I mean, if I find like another 14 Denver or a uh, um. 13 San Francisco type 2 or Denver type 2 you know one of those you know that's what we're looking for, what I'm looking for now Nineteen fifteen. I know the. I almost threw my spudger. I know I said that these don't have mint marks, but I still. I gotta check, because, I mean, I went through these things really quick. So, how's everybody doing? Everybody having a good year so far? We're getting down there, you know? End of the year's coming up here pretty soon. Get any big plans? Going to visit family? Going across the country? Maybe you're going out of the country? I don't know. Y'all gotta tell me what you're doing. I truly want to know. Because I can tell you what I'm doing. Sitting at home, pretty much. I mean, I think I'm going to my parents' house for a little bit, but... For the most part, just staying at home. There's a 20. So, can't afford to really go anywhere. Maybe next year. Maybe my wife and I will go somewhere next year. like to go back to Maine. Ugh. I know she wants to travel the East Coast, like, go to Arlington or up to, you know, D.C. and stuff. I don't know. Maybe we'll do something like that. We'll see. Not during the winter, though. Heck no. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Not during the winter, that's for sure. What's that, a 29, really? Wow. It's about 15 cents. <laughs> that 
had seen quite a bit of wear, hadn't it? Wow. <clears throat> so out of my recent stuff that I got, um, that I didn't actually show, like I say, for a mail call, I did get a, uh, 1920, um, Indian head, which you're thinking, oh, 20, that's pretty common, but this thing's like AU, um, about uncirculated, it's really nice, probably somewhere in that, uh, 20 to 25 dollar range, which is really cool. I always like getting really nice ones like that. Here, I'll show you it to you real quick. I mean, look at the details. Look at the horn. Almost a full horn. Beautiful. Now back to this not so much beautiful. I guess we could say it's beautiful in its own way, right? Beautiful in its own way. Okay, well, um, I'm going to mute myself for a <clears throat> second so I can cough. Alright. A little coughing fit there. Took a drink of something. You know things and stuff that happen. Throat's just dry. Oof. This one's being a hard case, ain't it? I think it's a 15, but I don't know. It's being a pain in the butt. A pain in the butt. So again, if anybody's interested... Um, basically 10 bucks a pound, uh, you'll be guaranteed to get more than a pound per $10 though of these. And while they may be more common-ish ones, I mean, even like this 16 here, um, like I say in a G4, the 16 six and a half bucks. So even if you put it on eBay and got a buck for it or two bucks for it or something like that, a buck 50, you know, I mean... You're going to make your money back. Or maybe you just want to keep them. I don't know what you want to do with them. Maybe you want to make arts and crafts. I don't know. I don't know what you do with your time. That 16 really came out nice. That's why I kept looking at it. I was like, wow, that, um, that came out nice. All right. Uh, you want to know one of the fun things, or maybe not so much fun thing. One of the things about doing this, <clears throat> what we're doing right now, is because this is like unscripted. I mean, which for the most part, most of my stuff is. But we're not looking at a whole bunch of different coins that we already know what the dates are and that and that. You know, like my mail calls, for instance. So in this, I mean, in between, so it doesn't, we don't have just silence. Uh, I can't I keep coming up with things to talk about. And that, that gets to be tough, actually. Um, you know, coming up with new things to talk about. That's why a lot of things keep getting, like, brought up uh, every video, like, Christmas time, presents, selling of these coins, my damn chair that I need to replace. There we go. If you guys all want to get pitch in and get me a uh, Christmas present, you can all just send me super chats and uh, or super thanks, whatever it is on the page. And, uh, you know... It, if if all my 600 people were to send $1, you know, 
Well, it'd take more than that because e YouTube takes its fees, period. Ugh. I don't understand these companies. You know, if I could program my own site similar to YouTube, I would because with all the commercials that come through and stuff, they have plenty of money. They don't need to take money from the creators, too. So, just my two cents. So, five bucks from each of you. Just to make sure. Then I could go and buy my new chair. There's another 28. Huh. Yeah, then I could go buy my new uh, chair and quit complaining about that. Oh, well. I'm not. I'm, I'm just joking. I hope you know. I hope y'all know I'm just joking. Technically speaking, I suppose I could buy one this week. I technically have enough money to do it, but I'm trying to save so that I can, uh, you know, in case it takes a little bit longer to get a job and I run out of unemployment, I need money to, you know, pay bills still. So... Um, oh, look, somebody did that one for us. Huh. So, yeah, I, I, I'm I trying to save a little bit. I mean, obviously, I'm going to have to spend a little, too, to make sure that we keep enough inventory to keep selling. But right now, I mean, right now, my inventory doesn't look too bad. I was looking over, and I probably got somewhere around about 300, 400 coins flipped up. So... The question is, are they coins that people are interested in or not? That's where the big thing is, because having that many coins is great, but if they're not the ones people want, well, then the coins just sit. I tell you, if you would have been in my stream, I don't know, some of you might have been on my stream yesterday for whatnot, but man, I was, I was in a bad mood. Mostly because, like, a quarter, a 90% silver quarter went for, like, two bucks. I mean, melt on a 90% quarter is less than two, or is more than two bucks. And I was trying to get two bucks for, like, 90% um, dimes, and people weren't even buying those. And I was like, uh, really? I can't even buy these things for, I mean, I guess I can buy them for two bucks, but just barely. They wanted them for like a buck. I was like, uh, yeah, that's that's not happening. You know, and then there was uh, some coins that were like, oh, well, you want way too much for that. Well, numismatically, it's worth a heck of a lot more than it is not numismatically kind of thing, like in bullion, right? Oh, it was just odd. Well, I'll just say it. It was a shit show. It was a shit show. So, I did get one of my buddies came on, though. Good friend of mine, customer. I mean, I didn't know the guy until I started on whatnot, but really good friend now um, came in, and he picked up some cool items. So, that helped out quite a bit. And then uh, there's another guy who goes by Exposed Toner, which I think is the most awesome name and I'm sure he's probably watching the video right now and going yeah uh exposed toner he came in and we talked for quite a while that was cool um I don't know him and I might be doing some kind of collab thing on I don't know something or another there's a 13 again that's nice type 2 there's a 28 Plus, I got another whatnot streamer who's going to be, we're going to do a collab together. Um, I think we're going to do something with, uh, well, it'll be Wheat Pennies. Um, i not sure. I got to talk to him again and see what we want to do. But I know I really want to do something about, like, spotting fakes. Because um, there is a lot of fakes of, like, the key dates and semi-key dates out there. Um, that's one of the things I'd like to do. And then, but I, even further than that, I was thinking if we did like, 
um, just started at like 09 and went through to like uh, 19 and then 20 to 29, you know, do a decades thing, uh, talking about the different coins from each decade and some of the major varieties to look for, along with the key and semi-key dates. Just to give you guys kind of a good uh, understanding of all the, all the different uh, wheat penny coins. And I think him and I together can probably definitely, probably definitely come up with something pretty cool with that. Because we both are um, really intelligent when it comes to that type of stuff. Uh, you know, if I can't figure out what something is, I, I'll call him and or message him about it and vice versa. And then now we have another guy that we've kind of pulled into that group because he's really good at uh, looking at um, errors. So if, if I can't quite figure it out and my buddy can't figure it out, then our other buddy, <laughs> it goes to him. But now I have a coin here. I got a 1922 Denver that, you know, we all three have looked at. And it looks like it's just war. But then the strike on the reverse looks really good. And the over, we're not sure if it's a... If it's going to be a 22 Denver weak D strong in reverse, or if it's just war that way, or you know what it is, so I think that one's probably going to just have to go off to the grading company for and have them decide what it is, because nobody seems to know, and that's okay. that that happens, especially if a coin starts has some wear on it and stuff, it gets very difficult to tell. Oof. I was thinking we probably wouldn't get a date on this thing. And I'm still thinking that. And I'm not going to waste my time or yours waiting. Especially since we're at 32 minutes already. And again, I'm trying to keep these things... Oh, wow, well, we know what this is. So a type 1. So I guess we'll just see if we have a... Uh... So this is going to be a 1913 type 1. I guess we'll just see if we have a mint mark. Nineteen thirteen. So we'll let that just sit for a minute, or well, relative term of minute. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to try to do some collabs there. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, there's another guy, uh, Southern Coin Hunter. I think it is. I think that's his name. On here. Yeah, Southern Coin Hunter. You guys should look him up. Nice guy. Uh, really nice guy. He comments on a lot of my videos. You should get, go look at him. He's doing a... Or he's been doing these uh, books that he's been putting together for kids. It's really neat. Um, should probably go check him out if, if you haven't already. Uh, but maybe I could work something into doing a collab with him. So... Yeah, it looks like it's... Well, I don't know. Now I'm getting it off at that angle and starting to wonder if maybe it isn't a D or S. Let's see if we can't work that stuff up a little bit. So yeah, maybe I might be able to work a collab in with him or something. I don't know. And if there's any other streamers or YouTubers out there that would like to work up some kind of a collab together, hey, I'm I'm down for it. Where's my background? You're probably saying, you know, what a, what's my main thing in my background for uh, this stuff? And to be honest, I'm all over the place. I Currency, I really am not great at. I should really stop doing currency because... I'm kind of horrible at it. I mean, obviously, I can f spot the big errors and stuff. But 
knowing which bills are really worth money and which aren't. I mean, not great. I did just sell a couple or three horse blankets that I had bought. Actually, I made decent money on those, so that's good. But, uh, and horse blankets, uh, what I'm saying is, if you look up like a 1923 $1 bill, they're about one and a half times the size of our current currency size. Uh, called horse blankets. Um, so I just sold three of those because I knew, and I had bought those because I knew they were worth money. But beyond that, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. I, I did buy, and hopefully it'll be coming soon. The other day I bought a uh, $2 bill from 28. Yeah, 1928 $2 bill. Because it looks a little, the Red Seal one looks a little different than um, some of the other ones. So, oh, look, a 23. Guess we don't need to do that one. So, got that coming. But, like, pennies, I mean, pretty much any penny from pretty much the flowing hair design all the way up through, unfortunately, up through current designs, I'm good with. Uh, nickels, I mean, yeah, I mean, some of the shield nickels I could use a little check on, but for the most part, there's not that many shield nickels, so, eh. uh, V nickels, I'm good, uh, buffaloes, obviously, and then current nickels, we're good. Uh, dimes, I don't do a lot with dimes. Uh, older dimes, sure. Uh, barbers and caps and stuff, yeah. Newer dimes, not so much. Uh, quarters, you know, whatever. Now, 20 cent pieces, I've never even owned a 20 cent piece, so. Yeah, don't, don't ask me about those. 50 cent pieces, I'm good with. Uh, a lot of the commemoratives, not all of them, because there are so dang many of them, but a lot of them. Uh, what else? Now, when we get into, like, Morgan dollars, now the new $1 coins, not so much. I know there's a ton of different varieties, and I know some of them, but not all of them. Morgan dollars, the VAMs. Which is the varieties for Morgan dollars? They called Bams. There are so many. I am definitely not an expert on those. I mean, I was on the Vam website there, and for like one Morgan dollar, there's probably like 50 different Vams. I'm like, oh, great, and they're all recognized pretty much. So, uh, peace dollars, same thing. Not a huge. I just haven't owned a ton of them. That's pretty much why, I think. I just haven't, I mean, had a ton of them. Wasn't really into collecting the piece and Morgan dollars. I started as collecting pennies and actually I take that back I started collecting ancient coins uh, Roman to be exact so I, I appreciate the Roman coins well more appreciate the Romans the road build builders you know I, I, I really like the Romans I know that's, I know they went out and conquered a bunch of stuff and whatever, and that's fine. I don't care. I go conquer stuff too. Now I'm just babbling. Great. Babbling. I'm trying to get through. I'm trying to finish these up that I had pulled out, but that's not going to happen. There's still another seven of them over there, and. Some of them take upwards of a minute, two minutes each. Uh, we're not going to get through them all. 
Oh, well, we got tomorrow, and the next day, and the next, and the next, and the next, and the next, until we're done. So, I don't think we're going to get a date off this one, which doesn't really surprise me when you look at the reverse. Hoofta. Um, maybe a 13, maybe a 16, I don't know. Anyway, that's all we got time for today. Thanks for watching, everybody, and, you know, as always... Have a good one. And, of course, we'll see you tomorrow.